Hey YouTube, this is Mark from Spark Starter Channel. I just wanted to uh, show a quick video about uh, the teardown of this Brunton uh, hydrolyzer. I decided I was going to pack this guy up and work on some other projects, so I'm going to open it up and have uh, let everyone have a quick look at what's inside. So, um, pretty cool. Looks like uh, we put the water in here. This is a little water little uh, float switch and water flows down down this tube into this electrolyzer cell so you can see a negative and positive terminal that's going to electrolyze the hydrogen uh, or electrolyze the water and create oxygen and hydrogen and there is an, a vent tube so that lets the oxygen come out for this vent there is uh, the hydrogen comes out of this very uh, small diameter metal tube goes into what appears to be a bubbler chamber that uh, prevents flashback and then the hydrogen goes again through a metal tube I don't know if you can see it that well from the bubbler into this accumulator vessel and uh, and then uh, it goes in sort of uh, looks like down into the bottom of this accumulator and then there is another metal pipe that comes down into the main uh, solenoid valve here and looks like you just you know this is the one of the uh, hydro uh, hydrocore charge cells and you just screw it in And you get, there's a little switch here, so then when that gets screwed all the way in, it triggers the switch, and that begins the, the uh, signal, signals the electronics here to start electrolyzing the water in the cell and uh, doing various things like controlling this, uh, you know, the solenoid valve or back here that uh, lets the hydrogen in when it's when it's reached a certain pressure. So I didn't really see any uh, any piston uh, involved. I don't think there's any. I don't see any wires running to this uh, accumulation vessel. I don't think there's anything in there that pressurizes the hydrogen. I just think it's a, a container for it to store uh, hydrogen. And uh, I think the whole system just pressurizes up, and then uh, when it builds up enough pressure, the solenoid opens and. Push it, uh, lets the hydrogen gas flow into the hydrocore vessel. So that's, that's how I think it works. You can see there's different uh, sort of clever ways that the the water flow is managed uh, from the main vessel, and if you have overflow or anything like that. So. So a lot of cool hardware in this uh, hydrolyzer from Brunton. I know there's a lot of people that do cool experiments with hydrogen gas out there on the web. Uh, so um, yeah, this might be something uh, worth uh, buying and uh, taking apart, even for parts for your own project.